So the first day of summer is getting closer and I thought I'd come out with mm, maybe just a little video for this weekend and just talk about this character that's coming soon. And uh, I want to also just throw out my predictions. I'm not sure if it's going to be accurate, if it's going to be spot on, but considering the fact that the summer, the first day of summer begins on June 21st, what if somehow Hugh Neutron was to come out that particular Tuesday, which is this week that's coming up? And maybe he's going to come out Monday. And he could come back. You know, some of you guys think he's going to come out tomorrow for uh, Father's Day. We don't know what's going to happen. But according to the release window, they said summer of 2021. Why I say 2021? 2022. But I'm just keep on recording. Because <laughs> this game came out in 2021. So I'm messing up. But. This summer of 2022 begins June 21st of that Tuesday. So we'll see. I think that's just going to be my bold prediction. Maybe Hugh Neutron is going to be in the game. And then just a little recap like I always usually do. Uh, but they said, you asked and we deliver. So we got the voice actors, the voiceovers. The voiceovers is one of the best things that has happened to this game, in my opinion. And then something else that I didn't really see being possible is the items and the items in this game are really powerful i don't really play with them on and i just have fun playing the game and different characters i love covering the updates and seeing the characters and this is a character that i'm looking forward to seeing and it's going to be so much fun i think i'm really going to pick him up as far as uh one of my favorite characters to play like i like to play patrick the most out of all the characters in the roster lincoln and some other characters i like all the characters in the roster and uh, rocco's coming out in the fall but we're talking about Hugh Neutron, who's going to be next in line since Jenny, as we have here, just came out not too long ago. So she's in the game. She can talk and for paid DLC. And if you haven't already, you can already buy the character. You can get Jenny, Hugh, and Rocco for all-in-one purchase for the Universe Pack. And um, I'm planning to make my own Universe Pack for maybe like a different sort of video just for you guys. And maybe some of you guys can probably make your own predictions as far as DLC characters you want to see added into the game and uh, I just uh, just talk about it really quick I didn't really see her being added until late later on I just thought Jimmy Neutron was going to be our character but we still have a Neutron a character from Jimmy Neutron's world for Hugh Neutron being added into the game so let's just bring up the little roster go to the, uh, the, to the stop. Select your fighter. But I'm hoping that he comes out with a stage and maybe he'll, he'll include maybe another additional feature. But we already have two and one features in, in the same update with um, following immediately following a little bit after Genie Wakeman's release. But I just feel like Hugh Neutron is going to come out this week. I have a good feeling, not because that is going to be the first day of summer, but it's around the re it fits the release window for it. And um, I see him coming out maybe Monday. Or Tuesday at the latest and if it's not either one of those days it's probably going to be sometime this week because June is getting ready to end soon because we're after, after this week it's going to be the last full week of June so it's got to be this week as a little bit of a prediction Hugh Neutron I'm going to go as far as saying he's probably going to come out by June 21st if not on that day so I'm definitely going to be playing the game in anticipation just like I did um, from yesterday I'm going to be playing the game in anticipation to see if he's going to come out maybe that Tuesday. But I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for that Monday just in case they come out with a post. Hugh Neutron has arrived and uh, he's ready to unleash the ducks and all the pies. And I want to just, I want to see his moveset. I can't wait to see how he plays. It doesn't matter what kind of moves he has. I'm sure he's going to have some goofy moves. And it's going to be fun to be able to have him battle all the different characters. And some people are just bringing up uh, Nigel Thornberry. <laughs> he's so much fun to play with in this game. And just the kind of moves he's going to probably have. I hope he references the Shadow Realm. I just want to talk about a little bit of things that I want to see from the character. So I already made my moveset for uh, a different request of what I would like to see him, how I would like to see him play. I have that pop up um, going towards the end if you guys want to check it out. But my own moveset and abilities of how I can see him being able to be implemented into this game. And um, 
I just feel like he's going to have some really funny things to say. I want him to reference the Shadow Realm for his voice lines. And it's just so perfect for him now. It's just the perfect timing because I just always said, with all these new characters that's coming out, they're going to need to have some kind of voiceover or some voice lines to be able to talk, to have some kind of reaction while they're playing. While we're playing these characters, it's going to be super fun to be able to experience the the DLC, see what he says in the arcade and his winning animation and all the different abilities he's going to be able to have and so much more. He's going to be one of the most unpredictable characters and that we won't really be able to figure out what he's going to do until he comes out. So I, I think he's going to come out by the uh, by Tuesday or maybe on that day or maybe sometime this upcoming week that's coming up very soon in time. It's the fitting window. Summer is going to begin. It's going to be officially summer. It's huge time to shine. <laughs> and uh, as I was just say this. I did want to see Jimmy Neutron, but I hope he still gets into the game at some point. I think he belongs in the game. He's a Nickelodeon All-Star. It's his show, of course, some people would say. And it's it's all about him. But there's just other characters from that world that can be re represented. It doesn't always have to be the main character or the main lead protagonist from that particular show they can take other shows and have other characters see how they did just like for reptar for example reptar is a good rep from rugrats but when you think of when someone that's thinking about rugrats they're probably not going to think about reptar as much in comparison to tommy tommy pickles chucky finster and all the other um, characters angelica they're going to think about the kids from their adventures in the movies but Rentar is just just that honestly, he's just that um, the mascot from the cereal boxes from what they uh, they liked eating the cereal and Tommy really liked Rentar. He was like the hero they looked up to. So it just seems like a it's a different choice. It's going to be fun, and the community wanted to see Hugh and uh, as a request. So it uh, it shows that the developers listen to the fan base, and I really like that about them. So I can't wait to see. How he plays, I think I see him coming out maybe Monday or Tuesday just again, if not at the latest by the end of the week. Because it's going to be the, the first full week of summer. We're going to see what happens. I'm excited to see. And I'm going to go to the training real quick. Super training. I could have just did that in the lobby. Super Soto. Just want to be up to stay. But just, just, we were just talking about him. It's going to be fun. Well, show now he versus uh Nigel. Your arena. But a stage just that comes to mind. I the candy bar from the show, candy bar, and the main setting is Retroville. They can do that someplace in Retroville. See how they did Trey Morton and Trey Morton. Trey Morton is the main setting from my life as a teenage robot. They see how they did this. They can take from that main setting and still be able to expand and add in the candy bar. You can fight indoors, or outdoors during some time in some in some place located in Retroville, which is where the, the show took place. Or Retroland, which is like the amusement park that could be similar to the look of Glove World, but it's not going to look like this. They can just change it up. So it could be Retroland, something in Retroville. It could be the candy bar. And I think he had a taco shop, his favorite taco shop that could be in it. I forgot the name of it. So that could be something potentially to be added with him. So I can't wait to see the stage. They can definitely do so much with this character and uh, his costume. I think he's going to have that biker outfit. And I just can't wait to see what he says. He's going to be so much fun to play with. I'm playing against all the characters. And I'm going to do his arcade. I might even play his arcade more than once on, on his release. Because he's probably going to say a different variety of lines. Because... Playing the arcade with these characters now that they added voice lines, they're going to say so much more different things. And they're not going to be limited to the different sentences and um, phrases and the things that they say to certain characters and more. I wish they had unique dialogue uh, options when they run into a certain character that they, they can really just add in for variety, variety sites. So that way, if he's facing Nigel or someone in particular, he can comment about Jenny. Well, uh, Jenny Wakeman, because she's a robot. You know, he, he probably hasn't seen Hugh Neutron, probably hasn't seen a talking robot before. See what I'm saying? So, he, just just to think of the, the variety of things that he could say to her. Because she's alive, and 
uh, a talking robot. See what I'm saying? So this is just a little example, but I'm looking forward to seeing his release. I just thought I'd do a little predictions video because I'm excited for this character and uh, I'm ready for Rocco in the fall, but Hughes is Hughes time. I think it's a perfect time for him to come out this week and uh, around this time because summer is going to get ready to begin. But let me know what you guys think is going to happen. Maybe you guys think he's going to come out tomorrow by some surprise. But I think in the, in the next few days, he'll be out maybe by June 21st. I'm going to go with that as the magical release day for uh, Hugh Neutron. So I can't wait to see what he does. And um, hopefully we can get some more modes so we can play. And uh, maybe some additional items that I already mentioned before that will be included with him. Maybe he can come out with uh, an item from his world. Purple Flirt or something like that. Jimmy's Rocket. Have him ride around and fly, fly that. That'll be fun during his little showcase. He somehow gets access to Jimmy Neutron's rocket and just flying around for his intro, but I can't wait to see his showcase. And maybe with his bicycle, that'll be some kind of unique entrance for him. It might even be in one of his movesets, uh, similar to how Wario can ride his little chopper, his little bicycle. That'll be really fun to see. But I'm excited for him. I hope he comes out um, in the next few, day few days, if anything. And uh, maybe June 21st will be the magical date. And I think that's going to be my uh, prediction.